Welcome to Academia Nutcracker's tutorial on how to customize your headers and footers with dynamic content. This video accompanies FAQ2 of my book, The Ultimate Guide to Writing Scientific Theses Using Word 2007. It can be found on page 33 of the ebook and page 34 of the printed paperback. If you have watched my video, How to Insert a Landscape Page, this will look very familiar to you. We will start by inserting two section breaks, but instead of changing the orientation of a page, we will define different headers for each section. I have opened the document called headers underscore footers that is included in the bonus archive of the ebook. You can download the archive after registering at www.academia-nutcrackers.com. As a visual aid, I have enabled the show formatting symbols. So let's get busy. Place the cursor at the end of the first paragraph. We want the second heading to be on a new page with a different header. Then select the Page Layout tab in the ribbon and click on the Breaks button. A menu that offers you a variety of options will appear. Select Next Page. The text after the cursor now has moved to a new page. Delete the empty paragraph. To open the header, double-click in the top area of the new page. First, uncheck the link to Previous option. This will separate the header of the current section from the previous, so the changes will not affect both sections. Delete all text in the header. And insert a cross-reference to the second heading text. First, select the References tab in the ribbon. Click on the Cross Reference button. You now have two options. The first option is to select Numbered Item as Reference Type. In the Insert Reference to drop-down menu, select Paragraph Text. However, since not all headings are numbered, I recommend the second option. Select Heading from the Reference Type drop-down menu. The selection in the Insert Reference 2 drop-down has changed to Heading Text automatically. You can either leave the checkmark on Insert as Hyperlink or uncheck it. I choose to uncheck it. Now select Second Heading from the wo For Which menu and click Insert. Now click Close. To close the header you can either select the Design tab in the ribbon and click on the Close Header and Footer button or simply double-click somewhere outside the header slash footer area. For the third heading, we're going to insert a continuous section break. This will create a new section but not create a new page. Place the cursor at the end of the second paragraph. Select the Page Layout tab in the ribbon and click on the Breaks button. Now select Continuous. Again delete the empty paragraph. Scroll to the third page. Open the header again and uncheck the link to previous option. Le delete all text in the header. Insert a cross-reference to the third heading text, just like we did before. Close the header. Our document now contains three sections, each with a different header. Each header is dynamically linked to the heading. This is great, but requires some caution from your side. When you delete the heading completely, the cross-reference will be invalid. You can change the heading text, but to update the text in the header, you will have to update the fields. The easiest way to achieve this is to go into the Print Preview mode. For this, click on the Office button, select the Print icon, and then Print Preview. You don't have to do anything here, so close the Print Preview by pressing Escape or click on the Close Print Preview button. That's it. You mastered another Word 2007 tutorial. Thank you for your interest in academia.nutcrackers.com.